Yes, so we're here waiting for our boat to arrive and I just <laughs> met a new friend. You want to tell us your name? Hi, it's Captain Zeke from Barbados. Yeah, Captain Zeke from Barbados. What can you tell us about Barbados? We can't hear you. It's the most friendliest place on earth. <laughs> That's what I can say about Barbados. And the beach. It's fucking warm. It's beautiful. You know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you want them to come over and look for come you? Come on over. I have a lot of calls to give it to anyone's mom. I, <laughs> would, I, I have loads of calls for one of you African guys' sons in marriage. Uh, oh my God! Yeah. Oh la la! Did you hear that? <laughs> wow! So we are waiting to see what he has for us. Yeah. So stay tuned. Welcome to Grace on Board. Yay! Hello world! Welcome to my channel. This is Grace on Board. So today we're in Barbados, yeah? I told you I'm gonna give you every bit of Barbados, yeah? Yeah, so I'm here with my girls from my country and we are going to see uh, the other part of Barbados, yeah, you remember the last time we did a video of Rihanna's uh, residence. Yes, yeah, so let's see what activities we're going to engage in today in Barbados, yeah? Keep watching, stay tuned, see what I got. Barbados Cup, Barbados forever. Landmarks here in Broad Street. Look, you see here, this was recently added. We have Rihanna right there. These are our national heroes here. Our national heroes. Yeah, Barbados is national heroes. Mm -hmm. Right here, mm -hmm. so it was recently added less than a year ago. Uh -huh. less so it's than a year National ago. Hero Square, yeah, good the Parliament Buildings. The third oldest parliament in the British Commonwealth mm -hmm. is here in Barbados, mm -hmm. and the buildings are constructed out of the indigenous stone of the island, which is coral limestone. Yeah. Right, so it's not a volcanic island mm -hmm. like some of the other islands, like St. Lucia uh -huh. and those islands. Yeah. Right, so a very unique formation to the island. So you see the likes of even Trafalgar Square. Yeah. There is an area in London called Trafalgar Square. This one of this, the British Trafalgar Square by 30 years older. Uh -huh. Despite the island being a British colony, uh -huh. we still have the older Trafalgar Square in England. Yeah. Right? Yes. Mm. So mm. this is pretty much it in lines of the shopping area. Uh -huh. And then we go next to the most requesting a best beach in all of the Eastern Caribbean which is Carlisle Bay Center it was rated the number one beach. Hello all, welcome to my show. My name is Grace and my channel's name is Grace on board. So we are in Barbados and we are going to do some activities here with my friends. And I can't wait to explore Barbados even further. Remember we did the other video uh, at Rihanna's place in Barbados and we're gonna do more. Yeah, we are at the Carlo Beach and this is the most beautiful beach in Barbados. Yeah, watch out what we have for you. Stay tuned. Look what I have. Barbados for life. And you can see, oh my God, everybody loves being here. It was very clean and I really loved the environment. And here we are with the Barbados name on it, where I had to stop by with my friends and take some pictures and short clips for, of course, to show you guys that indeed it is so amazing, yeah? Yeah, so this is the first time I'm doing a beach tour. Yeah, this is how I'm dressed. Yeah, you might be wondering why I don't have a bikini and, and yet I'm in the beach. This is because everything was so abrupt but I'm gonna figure out, I had some clothes with me just in case I get them turned along the way because crew members are really, really inciting. Like you find somebody who is going to show and they're like, woo, let's go. And that's how you get incited. Yeah, so we're here waiting for our boat to arrive and I just <laughs> met a new friend. You wanna tell us your name? Hi, it's Captain Zeke from Barbados. Yeah, Captain Zeke from Barbados. What can you tell us about Barbados? We can't hear you. It's the most friendliest place on earth. <laughs> That's what I can say about Barbados. And the beach. It's fucking warm. It's beautiful. You know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you want them to come over and look for come you? Come on over. I have a lot of calls to give it to anyone's mom. I, <laughs> would, I, I have loads of calls for one of you African guys' sons in marriage. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh la la, did you hear that? Wow. So we are waiting to see what he has for us, yeah? Yeah. So stay tuned. So we are still waiting for our boat. Oh my god. It's really sunny out here. Yeah, you must be wondering where I'm dressed like this, yeah? So I managed to get something to change. And for sure I'll be in summer, summer clothes, but I don't have a bikini yet, yeah? I'm looking for places I can get a very nice bikini. Yeah? So, this is the beautiful beach. So whenever I find myself in any beach, I always have to write on the sand. Yes, before I used to write on the sand, but now I have a brand that is Grace on Board. So I have to write my brand name and my country, which is Kenya. Yeah, and for anyone who was passing for the few seconds before it was blown away by the waves, at least I got some few people to read it and they were so curious. What the long one she's writing, yeah. And there I am, the waters were so, so blue. They say water is colorless, but this one was blue and blue is my favorite color. Barbados, I must say, is one of my favorite islands. So beautiful, the people are so charismatic, people are so hospitable very friendly and willing to help the people are so so amazing and i could not help but but admire them for their hospitality and for sure you want to go back there again and again barbados is one of my favorite ports i like i said yeah and so it was time to embark to our boat ready to go and do the water adventures which is snorkeling i was gonna try it for the first time because I've never done it before and I was really, really phobic, yeah? So my friends are really good influencers, I must admit. And they really pushed me to do this. And I was like, this year I was going to, uh, I said I'm going to overcome my fears. And one of them is uh, fear for heights and uh, <laughs> jumping over water like this. So this is me. We have already embarked to our boat that was organized by our friend. And then we're gonna sail somewhere at least uh, away from the, uh, slightly away from the shore. And we are there and for sure we are waiting to do snorkeling and everybody on this boat was just a vibe. It was just an amazing moment. And uh, I was really, really curious to do snorkeling for the first time. And so it was time to go in the waters, do the snorkeling and experience the adventure under zoo. So it was really, really, really amazing. And I was so curious to do this for the first time. Everybody was jumping in turns and uh, they were so fearless. And because it was my first time, everything was new to me. Yeah, yeah. I've seen people doing this kind of thing in most of the beaches we have gone. I was wondering what is happening Yeah, Until one day I asked someone, what are they doing? Yeah, forgive my naivety, but this is snorkeling. Yeah, I hope I pronounce it correctly. Yeah, so everybody was jumping in turns and I can tell you this is just the most beautiful thing I did uh, on uh, a show when I when I've gone a show this was very very amazing
Yes, so at this point, half of the boat had gone, uh, had jumped in and everybody seemed to enjoy it. And I was so nervous to try this on and my friends kept telling me, you can do it, you can do it, keep going, keep going. Yeah, as, yes, I must admit that I was hesitant. I was so hesitant about this because I was not sure if I, I want to do it or not. But I said, like I said before, I'm going to overcome my fears. And yes, it was my turn now to go in. And before that, you have to wear the... You have to wear the floater, you have to wear the goggles, you have to wear the snorkeling uh, preparation. I mean, you have to wear the snorkeling uh, gadgets. Yeah, I don't know how to call them, but yes. And then here I am, nervous and very nervous. I'm still reconsidering my decision. But again, something is telling me you can do it and you want to do it today. If you don't do it today, you're not going to ever, ever do it because you'll keep postponing it. So my friends and I are now ready to go deep down the waters. This is the first time I'm trying to do this. And for sure I was nervous because I was thinking of the worst at that time because I've never done it before. So we have to wear the safety equipment, the floater, the goggles and the snorkeling, uh, breathing, whatever. I don't know how to call it. Yeah and uh i must say it was time to jump in and i was in full panic but my friend phoebe held my hand until we were inside the water yes it was really amazing doing this with them because they were my cheerleaders they really motivate uh, motivated me to something i've never tried before and i was here trying to see if i can change my mind but they never gave me a chance to change my mind and then it was time to jump and it was like one two and three we were inside the deep waters. Yes, and now when I started snorkeling and looking down, the view was so beautiful. Unfortunately, I did not take my GoPro with me to show you the view from under the water, which was really, really beautiful. And everything was just settling. I mean, the under zoo habitat is so beautiful the turtles the fish and all that but for sure i'm gonna do a part two of snorkeling and i'm gonna show you how amazing it looks to be under the water yeah so everybody was just chilling enjoying and i'm here doing it for the first time and for sure i'm gonna do this again uh next time i'm in barbados yeah the guy who was training us was really friendly and very nice he is an experienced trainer and he held my hand until we finished the, pros uh, the process.
thank you guys. Wah. Again, Grace on board. So today we are in Barbados, yeah, and I'll be showing you Barbados, Barbados, Barbados until the end of the road, yeah. So I'm here at the beach, and it's so, so, super beautiful. I know you're probably wondering what I'm doing beside the beach without the beach way or something, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's because uh, I was going to other places and I didn't have much time, yeah. But believe we're gonna do more of this, yeah. But unfortunately, this is our last. Caribbean cruise that we have will be crossing over to Europe but I'm telling you it's been amazing being in the Caribbean it's been lovely everyone is just receptive everybody's just amazing and I'm so glad to be here and thank you Barbados for being nice to us and we love you back yeah? and I hope to see you again in the future yeah probably next year and now we are outside Barbados Parliament buildings and outside the buildings they are very very beautiful from outside and you can see the flag is sailing so high the beautiful beautiful flag of Barbados and just direct opposite we have the National Heroes Park where they put the pictures with not really pictures but uh, the art the art of the National Heroes who made Barbados great on who still make Barbados uh, great and uh, you can see uh, there's, there are images of the great heroes of Barbados and the history and the date of birth and uh, if they have passed on they have written the date they passed on but if they are still alive there is no uh it's only the date of birth and uh, for sure there's a short history and what they did and this is where if you want to find out who are the heroes of Barbados you can come here and have a look and read a short history about them so these are amazing pictures it's a national park and uh, not really a park but uh, I would call it is a place a special place secluded for them for anyone who is passing there they could read the history and if you feel like you want to know more about them you could always read the information that is written there to keep you in the know in case you're interested yeah so They, sorry, I think I missed that. <laughs> the, the blue has, the blue right. represents. So the blue basically represents, oh, the yellow kind of represents ocean. the sun. Uh -huh. and the because the trading is supposed to be broken at the end. Yes. Basically representing breaking.
after that we headed to the george washington house in barbados this is the first president of the united states of america so we went to his resident where he built a house well in barbados and uh, this is how this is was his beautiful residence as you can see it's written the uh, george washington and all that and we were allowed to go in of course people still go in there and it was an honor it was a great opportunity to go to these places and as you can see as we are going outside out just outside his house actually you could see all this displayed there these are the ones which were used during the world war so this is just right after his gate so these are the cannons that were used during the world war and that was happening all over the world during those times that I was not even born. I don't think my mother was born, my grandmother was born. Yeah, so they are still here. And these are so, such a treasure, right? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Such a treasure. Are they guarded? Oh, yes, nobody's gonna take it. Yeah, gonna take it. like, that's a heritage. Yeah, good to see you. nobody's gonna take them at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Look at that. This is our local restaurant. Yeah. Okay. Full month has been watching our race. In June, the cricket is happening here in Barbados. World Cup. World Cup, I mean. World Cup cricket. June this year, coming this year. My God, I can imagine the business that will be booming here in Barbados. Yeah. yeah. All these hotels are going to be full. Yeah. Taxis will be full. Yeah. The room shop. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah. What kind of sports do you? Cricket. 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 Cricket, cricket is so common in, in the Caribbean. Africa, yeah. In Africa, South Africa, Zimbabwe. Yeah. Kenya, they all have cricket. If you ask me to bring to a beach, yes, this is the one I would. And. We continued with our journey with my good friend who I met. Uh, he was my good friend and tour guide who was telling me a little bit more about Barbados. Yeah, so he promised to tour me around Barbados and I was so grateful for this moment. He was very kind. And by the way, did I tell you something about Barbados people? You have no idea that these are the kindest people in the world. In the places I've gone, I must say, yes, I've met kind people, but I must say that Barbados really won my heart. Barbados has the kindest people you've ever seen. They're always willing to help you. They are receptive. I always felt like I'm home. Yes. And all the countries that I've gone, they are all nice. But Barbados, I must say, it has a special place in my heart. Barbados, I want to come back there. And indeed, I will do more videos in Barbados. Yeah, one of the. Oh my God! So scenery. it's still not the most beautiful one, yeah. It's the scenery. Oh, yeah. The scenery. It's the scenery that's going to capture you. Yes. This is all electric buses. Yes. Oh, that's a yeah. That's an electric one. Yeah. We have five hundred. Wow! Look at the beautiful Barbados. Wow. They're going to the beautiful, beautiful Saint Lawrence Gap. Wow! And then turn in here. Yeah. Look to your right. Mm -hmm. If you see anything prettier than that, you tell me. Oh my god, now I'm curious. I'm curious for this bitch. <laughs> I want to see this kind of bitch. Look, look to your right. Oh my god. Wow. That is paradise. Look and Craig. Oh my god. Now, this is my kind of bitch. That is actually not too crowded like you could have some and so as we were winding up our journey he took me to this st lawrence beach yeah he said it's his favorite beach because i told him to take me to his favorite beach because i've been to Carlo bay and now i wanted to go to one of the random beaches and he said uh he's gonna take me to the uh, to his favorite beach and which was uh, st lawrence and you can see it's really nice 
it's really nice out there and yes i took a view i took a view though it was a little bit smaller than the Kalo Bay, yeah because Kalo Bay was a little bit full and uh busy but this one looks a little bit private a little bit i'm not saying it's private but it looks a little bit uh reserved and but it was still beautiful yeah okay so i got something interesting here and the name of the bar is mcnotis pub and grub so these are the writings that i came across <laughs> So this is where they hang out when they come. Wow. Okay. By the way, what is the population of Barbados? 300,000 people. Really? That is the population of Barbados. Do you know, I would say in Kenya, that is the population of one county like one province because we are about we are over 40 million actually wow 300 i need to bring one county in <laughs> so we can enjoy the beaches together <laughs> we need to enjoy we need to share these beaches together oh my god they're so beautiful wow i was expecting you to tell me at least one million no 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 yeah 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 because it's an island the size is 22 by 14 miles, 22 miles long by 14 miles long. Yeah? 166 square miles. Here to your right, this is one of our hotels. Yeah, what's the name of the hotel? This is Sapphire. Star Sapphire. Starts at a thousand US dollars per night. Wow. But why per night? We, yeah, but why would you want to stay here when you can stay over here at time out? <laughs> for $99. Wait, so that's Sapphire. Goals, yes. yeah? And this is time out. And this is time out. $99. Okay. So well, you save $900 and walk to the beach. <laughs> so this is for the, you know, those kind tours, of all tours. All tours. All tours. The yeah. high and the low tours. Okay. Afford. Yeah, whoever can afford. Provided they use the beaches in Barbados, yeah? These are all tours. These are all condominiums. Wow. And to your right, these are all five star hotels. They're all five star hotels. Five star. Yeah, hotel hotel business is doing really well. Everybody, it's doing really well. Everybody comes to our hotel. Yeah? So I can come here and start a hotel of my own, eh? Will yeah. I prosper? Sure you will. <laughs> I've been your uh, PR owner. Oh my god, you're hired. I, I know everybody. Awesome! Uh, airport, <laughs> seaport. Yeah? Oh my god, you're hired. Right? Yeah, you could be a yeah, but you still could be my yeah. P and my accountant, yeah? yeah. yeah. This is <laughs> Beach. Turtle Beach. And this is name and nature. Turtles come ashore every night to lay yeah. eggs here. Turtles come and lay eggs there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And this is the beautiful sandals. What is sandals? Beautiful hotel. Oh, it's a hotel. Yeah. That is one half mile of pure building. Wow. Sandals. If you go in, you don't want to come out. Really? Yeah, look at it. Alright. So we are still maneuvering in Barbados and I'm yes. telling you this is the most 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 beautiful island I've seen, yeah? Yeah, like I'm not kidding guys, like I'm telling you things that I've seen right now and the people of, uh, of Barbados can agree with me that indeed uh, this is a lovely country, island and it's a lovely place to be, yeah? And so people and people are so receptive. Yeah. I mean people are so friendly, you know? We have a ninety eight point one yeah. literacy. Yes. We are third in the world of education. Yeah. I believe in that. Yeah. Education is the key. Education is the key, true. Yeah. Alright. Wow. So like I said uh, before, 
Uh, this is our last cruise, uh, uh, cruise around Barbados, so we're gonna be cruising over to Europe, and I feel so sad I won't be here again. But who knows? Maybe next year, or maybe some other time. Lines have already been laid down. Mm -hmm. so this is what we call middle class. Wow. So this is the middle class. Mm -hmm. Okay. Middle class. The houses are so beautiful. And we like the colors. Yeah. Uh, pastel colors. Yeah. Red, whatever you fancy. Yeah. Wow. You can turn it to it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. For sure. You can tell the difference. Yes, yeah, like a gated community. This one. Yes. Yes. Wow. Everybody has a BMW on their shoes. Whoa! I wanna live there. No, I already have some here. Ah! Don't worry about it. Ah. I am middle class. Beto, ah. so what are the colors? You have, I realize you have a very beautiful flag. And actually, I forgot to wear my cup for Barbados, yeah? Pardon? I have a cup, a cape. A cup? Yeah. Uh, with the Barbados flag, yeah? Yes, yes. So, and it's a really, really, really beautiful flag. Yeah. I realize we have blue. Uh, blue is for the water and sun. Blue is for the water and sun, yeah? Yes. And blue, the other one the is... Broken, yeah, the blue and the black does symbolize water and sun. Water and sun for the blue oh, and black, yeah? yeah? The broken trident mm -hmm. symbolizes mm -hmm. that we broke away from England. We broke the trident. Yeah. So the family. I don't know what's inside. Uh, the broken, how was the name of the broken? Uh, the broken trident. Trident. The fork that you see. Okay, the That's fork. A trident. It's called a trident. Uh -huh. it's, trident. Yeah, it's, yeah. Bro it's broken in half. Uh -huh. And the reason why we broke it because we broke away from England. Okay. So that's the reason why it's called the broken trident. Oh, the broken trident. We broke You're away. Right. We separate. Okay. Nice. So this is all sugar cane. Wow. Okay, and the yellow is it mustard or yellow? That's yellow. Yeah, yellow. What the yellow means? That's all the same thing. Water, sun, and wind. Water, uh -huh. sun, and culture. Water, sun, and, and culture. culture. Yes. Nice. It's a beautiful combination of lines and mustard green. Yeah? Mustard green is a beautiful combination. Wow! 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 So all different palms. Uh -huh. This is our highway taking us to the other side because we've done an hour and a half. And I want to show you a piece of everything, you know? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Barbados. So what type of music do you play? Zook? And what is Zook? Zook is a cultural music, something like soccer, something like calypso. We uh, play rumba, we yeah, play yeah. Uh, bonga. No, not bonga. Oh my god. It's bongo. We play bongo music. Bongo music yeah. is local music. Yes. Using Swahili. Yeah. yeah. That's what we, we call it culture. Yes. Here we do that too. Bongo yeah. music. Yeah. With a, with, with a pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful drive, right? Huh? It's beautiful and the air is so fresh. In my country, I've never seen uh, somebody from Caribbean like living there, and I'm wondering why are they not coming to Kenya? Okay. Yeah, you should come to Kenya. People from Barbados, yeah, I invite you all to Kenya. Yeah, <laughs> but one at a time because one at a time because I know. Oh my God, my house is so small. Yeah. Yeah. So I have something interesting, my dream. I still live here. So I'm asking. Him, would you have told that I, uh, that I am from Africa without telling you? How would you tell that indeed when I'm in the middle of Caribbean that I'm from Africa without telling you? And guess what he said to me? Oh my god! <laughs> my calves. Oh my god! Yes, Africa. We got calves. Yeah. Yeah. And my forehead, guys. Do I even have a forehead? Tell me. <laughs> yeah. You're the second person to tell me the Caribbean. Yeah. Like I, I, I knew you're African because of your forehead. Like forehead. Africans, we have foreheads. <laughs> no, you don't have forehead. forehead. Yeah. 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 And yeah. not only that, your hairline doesn't yeah. start from here. Just yes. from here. Yeah, yeah, start a little yeah. bit backwards. 
yeah. from the time you, you came out and I looked at you, I said she's African. Yeah, but the last time I was here, the driver who was taking us through, he said he knew I was African because of my forehead. And then when I speak, they would know with my accent that but, indeed yeah. I am from Africa. But because if you I don't speak, yeah. And, and you have 10 black ladies standing uh -huh. here, you can pick out, it, it might not be accurate, uh -huh. but you can pick out who is African. One of the guesses, yeah? yeah uh, one of the guesses, yeah? Indian, wow. So without talking, you could tell by my forehead. I knew you were African. This is when but, you got into my car and yes. you're from Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had you, I had you yeah. asking me. But when I talk, that oh my God, I bring the way. African accent because I don't, I don't have the Caribbean accent. <laughs> As I say, if you don't talk, yeah. you still know that you're African. Wow! But you will still act. Uh -huh. Because some, some Caribbean women has a, a forehead too. Yeah? But not many. But not many. It's not yeah. common. Yes, yeah. it's not many. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Stop it. My forehead. Oh my God. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank now, you. Remember the lady just now that meant to make sure that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told you. I yeah, the her, structure. She's not dingo. Because all the curves, everything. The, what women don't have that. <laughs> what women don't have that. Yeah. That specimen. You see the curve. Yeah. My wow. women, my, my, my women, black women are. Mm -hmm. So look at that. We have a kite. We have a kite. Symbolizing Easter here in Barbados. Well, let me see if I could be able to zoom in. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow. So they're flying a kite to symbolize Easter. So you often do this during Easter. Wow, what does it mean? You know, the birth of Christ. Yeah, the birth of Christ. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Now, you know, there's three people that have sculpture. Yeah. So, the, the number plates symbolize the state you're living Yes. And, wow. And, and how many vehicles that he meant for his, mm -hmm. he became the 8,143 people of a vehicle in St. Thomas. Okay. Me? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So all this belong to the government, government. and they, it's and the they, government who is refurbishing, yeah. Yes, and they will give it the ambassadors from. The oh country. yes, 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 yes. The high commissioners. Yes, and here this is the governor general house. This is where the queen or the king now, if he comes. Okay. This is where he's going to stay. That's the governor general mansion. Governor general mansion where he lives. Yeah. Yes. So, the governor general is there, but if mm -hmm. the queen comes or the king, the king comes and lives there. He's gonna stay there. Wow, see the houses, all of this was like that. Wow, so, that style of house is dated mm -hmm. back 200 years. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's okay. Wow, you have a history. Oh, I know my history. This is why I won a scholarship wow. to. And so, after a beautiful day and a beautiful tour in Barbados, I had to stop by my favorite place. This restaurant is my favorite one. It's located near the port, where I always, always take my Barbados, my Caribbean rice, not my Barbados. I always take my Caribbean rice, and at this time, I am taking my Caribbean rice with turkey. This is so addictive. I knew this was the last Barbados we had uh, this year, so I had to revenge for the rest of the days. So, the lady who was serving there, she was so generous. And at first when she served me, I was so shocked that I was asking myself, am I going to finish this? But within five minutes, the plate was clear. And that tells you how beautiful the Caribbean rice was and the food was. One thing I love about the Caribbean is their food. The food is so, so good. And especially the rice, the way they cook, is just amazing. The food was great and I sat around beautiful people from Barbados and we had a chat as I was eating and they were really, really good. And it was a sad thing that I'll not be back there this year because the ship 
will be proceeding to Europe. But for sure, when I come back in Barbados, I'm still going back to my usual place and I'm never going to eat anywhere again apart from that place because she has a special way of making the Caribbean rice. It's near the port, yeah? So the rice was so good and the food was so amazing all over and the people of Barbados were so receptive, so nice, so blessed and may God bless Barbados all the time. Yes, and I would say that was all for Barbados and I hope to cover more next time I come. And thank you so much Barbados, you are the best, God love. God loves you and take care of yourself Barbados for me. Until next time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ciao, ciao.